Hi, Brian Abel here, webtennis.net, and today's tip is how I want you to start your second serve. And one of the biggest mistakes we make on the second serve is obviously we've missed our first serve, and it's really easy for our first thought to be a negative thought. And I'm, I'm telling you, that does not really set you up very well mentally to be able to perform that second serve to the best of your ability. So as soon as you miss that first serve, what I want you to do is take a three or four ball bounce set up for your second serve to where you're bouncing it a couple, two, three, four times. And, and during those bounces, what I want you to think about are two things. Actually, we'll say three things. Number one is I want you to commit as to where you're going to go with your serve. You know, are you going to go up the tee? Are you going to the body? Are you going to go out wide to the alley? You know, are you going to try to kick it up? Or are you going to try just a basic, you know, top spin second serve? Whatever it is, I want you to fully commit, especially to the direction. And, you know, I do this myself sometimes. I'll go through the tossing motion after I've told myself, all right, I'm going to go to the body. And for whatever reason, I don't go to the body. I then, you know, will take it somewhere else. You really have the best chance of making this second serve be much more effective if you really, number one, commit to the direction and the type of second serve that you want to hit. Number two, as you're going through that bounce, or I should say as you're going through those three or four bounces, see if you can't visualize what you just committed to where you're going to serve. So if you're thinking, well, I'm going to go ahead and sort of hit a spin serve out to the alley, as you're going through a couple of those bounces as you're getting ready to serve, visualize in your mind so to see that serve leaving your racket going up over the top of the net dropping in and and that's all you need to visualize what I don't want you to visualize is the outcome of the point meaning that you've gone ahead and said all right well I'm gonna kick it out to the alley and now you visualize it going out there and being an ace or being a winner you know, or something out there, you don't want to visualize that result because if the ball comes back, now all of a sudden you put a lot of pressure on yourself to make that next shot. And then the third thing that you want to do, so number one is you're going to commit to where it's going to go. Number two, take a second and sort of visualize that serve going to where you've just committed. And number three is just say the word go. And for me, what I've got to do is I don't want to sit here and, and think about all the different possibilities of what I've just committed to. So I'm going to think direction, I'm going to visualize that direction, and then I'm just going to say go. And I'm going to go through the motion without hesitation. And you know, if, if out of the corner of my eye, my peripheral vision, I see my opponent kind of shifting over maybe as I'm going up through the tossing motion, they're shifting over to my target, I'm not going to change. Okay, let's go through a little follow-up on that on that tip in the second serve and, and really, you know, what I think is important in the way that you mentally prepare for the second serve. And I think one of the things that, that I didn't really emphasize enough is after you miss the first serve, for a moment there it's kind of a negative experience because you've just missed that first serve. And really what you have to do, you have to find a way to kind of clean the slate, wipe it clean so that when you go for your second serve, it doesn't start off as sort of a negative situation. And again, what, what I like to do on it, if I miss my first serve, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to bounce the ball a couple, two, three, maybe four times. And really, the first bounce or so is simply just a clean the slate effort. You know, I think we talked about before the first thing that you want to do is commit. Well, that that is important, but the very first thing you need to do after missing that first serve is to come back here and just clean the slate and just realize that this is going to be a positive experience. Go through your commitment. Where do you want to serve? And then the next part is really important. I want you to positively visualize exactly seeing that serve right where you've committed to where you want it to go. I mean, lots of players sometimes get up here for the second serve and they start to freak out a little bit. They start to panic and they start to visualize a double fault or they start to visualize a soft second serve where their opponent comes in and, and really knocks it off. So I want you to really get to a positive visualization of seeing the serve go exactly where you want it to go and, and then go ahead, as I said before, say the word go and go ahead and hit that great second serve. All right, hope this has helped. Any questions, Brent at webtennis.net. Have a great day out there.